I write these songs, I get halfway done with a song, and then I just start on another song, you know? And uh, it, it kind of bummed me out because I was working on a song for our 20 year anniversary uh, this past August, and I was like excited to finish it for my wife. I couldn't finish that song, I didn't finish it in time, now I gotta wait for 21, you know? I gotta wait for that one to come around. This is as far as I got on it. This is a song I wrote for my wife, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. They say that feelings fade away just like the morning do. But honey, they don't understand the way I care for you. And even in our golden years, we'll never call it quits. When we're old and wearing diapers, wearing depends with benefits. That's all I have so far. That one's, that one's gonna be called a, I Won't Let You Change Me. It's brand new. And, uh... well, here's one, uh, this, should, uh, this should start things off nicely. She never heard the word impossible And she ain't familiar with regret She don't know the meaning of many words at all She's stupid That one's short um, But I hear in the rental car, you know, you hear the radio stations, the presets I'm like, what is this song? I get excited, you know, I was like, I never heard this song before, you know And uh, I didn't care if it was 10 below I rolled down the window, pumped up the jam, you know and it was a radio commercial. Has that ever happened to anybody else? You just, <laughs> you just feel manipulated and sad, don't you? you know? It always starts off great, you know? Mom was like... I want, I need, I want, I need. I was like, yes, do it. <laughs> then it was like, two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun. Dang it. <laughs> and now I'm starving. And this is where advertising is headed. You gotta know that. We're the TiVo generation, right? Everybody's got the DVRs. We're fast forwarding through these commercials. So they gotta figure out a way to get them into your life again, you know? I got a TiVo at home, it's full of shows. I'll never get a chance to watch them all, you know? They're piling up on there. I love that show Hoarders, but I can't delete them. I might need them. You don't know. Don't you dare judge me, sir. I will delete them when I'm ready. But these radio people are the worst, right? They trick you, make it sound like a pop song, so you listen longer, you know? You may hear this one on your way home from the show tonight. Trapped in this place I know so well My home is like a prison cell And it feels like I can't breathe anymore She comes inside and dries my eyes And takes my hand We walk outside And I can breathe for the first time Allegro, call your doctor, please. Allegro, for seasonal allergies. Allegro, if pollen makes you sneeze, don't be afraid of trees. Just take two of these. Allegro. I thought I'd play it for you guys. Get things rolling. This is a, uh, this is my turkey song. I hope you enjoy it, but I'm really not counting on it. Yeah. Ah, he's got a gun! The next song I want to do. <laughs> well, I'll leave you with this. I grew up a very random person. I was a random child and my family had a lot of random thoughts. Anybody ever called an old soul when you were a kid? Anybody ever done that? That means you're a weirdo. That's what that means. And that was for sure me. And to this day, I still have random thoughts coming to my head. They have no place in my show, you know, or society. And so... Sometimes I put them with music, it makes it a little more palatable. This is something I'll leave you with. It's uh, called The Joke Medley, and I, and I hope you enjoy it, but I'm really not counting on it. <laughs> on Easter Sunday, I like to take my offering and put it in a tiny plastic egg and make the usher search the room for it. <laughs> Some of y'all like, I'm doing that next year. That's happening. <laughs> People who don't believe in autocorrect go straight to heel. If you didn't get that joke, you have a flip phone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My mom used to always say, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. It was true of everything except suppositories. I call that joke sweet and low. So. <laughs> 
So my dad was a conjoined twin. That's not the joke, man. You got a lot of nerve. So my dad was a conjoined twin. We used to refer to his brother as my uncle on my father's side. It's all right, guys, it's fine, settle down. They were surgically separated. Now he's my uncle once removed. I'm Johnny W. God bless you guys. Thanks so much for having me.